This video shows how to prevent and reduce heat inside your computer by keeping it clean and ventilated. If Windows stops responding, the fans become louder, or the mouse and keyboard stop responding, the computer might be overheating. Before beginning, make sure the area around the computer is clear to avoid electrical shock. Work on a non-carpeted floor to avoid electrostatic shock. Avoid any sharp edges. The most common causes of excessive heat are dust inside the computer, a new component such as a hard drive, high room temperatures, or worn out cooling fans. Follow these steps to test the computer for heat issues. First, remove the side panel screws and slide the panel open to cool the computer. Keep items away from the inside of the computer to avoid damage. Turn off the computer and unplug the power cable while the side panel is open. Wait for the computer to cool. Plug in the power cable and turn on the computer. Try starting a software program that has recently stopped responding. If the issue persists, continue to the next step. Verify that the computer fans are operational. With the computer powered on, look inside to find the cooling fans. If one of the fans is not moving or makes an unusual sound, turn off the computer and replace the fan. Some components can be damaged by electrostatic discharge, or ESD. To reduce the chance of ESD damage, work over a non-carpeted floor. Use a static dissipative work surface, such as a foam pad, and wear an ESD wrist strap connected to a grounded surface. Dust can build up around the internal components and obstruct airflow. Follow these steps to clean the computer. Turn off the computer and disconnect the power cord. Use canned air or a small vacuum cleaner to clean all the exterior vents. Do not use a vacuum cleaner to clean the inside of the computer. Doing so might damage the computer. Replace the computer side panel. Connect the power cord and turn on the computer. If the issue persists, continue to the next step. Make sure there is enough space around the computer for ventilation. Place the computer upright on a level surface. Make sure there is at least 15.25 centimeters or 6 inches of space in front and back of the computer. Place the computer in a cool room to prevent it from overheating. A small difference in temperature might prevent damage to the computer. Check the HP Support website to check for available BIOS updates. To download updates from HP's website, open your web browser and go to hp.com forward slash drivers. Follow the on-screen instructions to download and update the drivers and BIOS on your computer. Install another fan to draw out extra heat. Case fans, such as a slot fan, are available at most computer supply stores. These fans can be installed into a slot next to the video card. Follow the instructions included with the fan to install it. Then replace the side panel and plug in the power cord. Turn on the computer. If heat-related issues remain, continue to the next step. Test for hardware failure when troubleshooting heat issues.
At the Start screen, type Diagnostic Software, then select Diagnostic Software from the Search Charm results. Follow the on-screen instructions to test for hardware failure. You can find additional helpful videos at hp.com forward slash support videos and on our YouTube channel, youtube.com forward slash how to for you.